what we'll do now is we're going to take the 9 volt battery connector and we're going to attach that to a prong on the switch. This can be twisted on or soldered on if you have like a soldering iron. This is probably the only part that you might want to solder is the switch. Now here is a tool that you need to know about. It's just a wire stripper. You can get this at any electric supply place. Wire strippers look like this, and sometimes there are even tools like pliers that have wire strippers in them. I prefer this little set. They're, they're so cheap and easy to use. And so if you want to get a little bit more wire available, you can strip the wire with a wire stripper. Simple as that. So that's how you do it. You set this. See how the hole doesn't close? That way the wire doesn't get cut, just the plastic is removed. So now I have a longer wire. So I'm going to solder or twist the red wire onto the switch. So I'm going to put that right here in the middle. And I'll just twist it. And that will create our connection for today. Now, you'll notice that there's one red jump wire that's longer than the other jump wires. You can use this jump wire to connect to the other part of the switch. So I'll straighten out the little end, make a hook on this with my pliers. And as I said before, you can connect to either one. It doesn't matter. So then you can just connect this, tighten it on. Now we have this connected to the switch. So this is the switch. I've connected the red wire of the battery connector. So this is your 9 volt battery connector. It's a regular, just what you clip onto a 9 volt. It still has its black wire hanging loose. But I've connected the red one to the middle prong. And I've got this red jump wire that I've attached to one of the outside prongs. One prong is left unconnected to anything. Now the black end will slide into our negative row. So right here, this blue negative row on the left, we connect a black wire. Over here on the right, we're going to take our little jump wire that we attach to our switch, and we're going to push that into the red positive here on the right. So that way, when you look at it, you've got something like this going on. We're not going to attach a battery just yet, because we're not done building the zapper. But this is how it will connect, is that we've got the red wire going into the positive. We've got the black wire going into the negative, which is the ground. So far, so good.